This is my post fight reaction to Lajo Tutek Flores versus Omar Rosario. Sh was a very good fight. I thought Flores came out being aggressive. Wasn't really uh taking his time early on. He was patient. I'm gonna say he was early on early on, he was patient. But I think as the fight went on, he got a lot more patient, a lot more patient. And uh, I think Rosario got a lot more impatient throughout the fight. And that's why he started to try to step to him in the middle rounds, try to go to the inside. And uh, I think Flores did a good job because when Rosario tried to fight his style, Flores was fighting his style. And he kind of forced Rosario over from the fourth, fourth and sixth round, he kind of forced him to go back to throwing the jab. And that's what Rosario did, but he couldn't really get anything done on the inside. He was, Rosario was throwing some good shots that was keeping him in the fight. I want to say from the sixth, third round on, he was throwing some good shots because um, Flores, he was, it was to a point early that I thought he was going to be able to get Rosario up out of there. Just from the combinations, the jab, it looked like uh, Rosario was over overwhelmed. He really didn't have any answers for what um, Flores was doing. And I think Flores had a good game plan. He was jabbing. He was moving. Uh, when he was on the outside, he was a lot more superior. But he still was able to uh, dominate in the inside, even though that's uh, wasn't where he was dominating the most. He was dominating on the outside the most, but still was able to outbox Rosario on the outside. I think he had a better jab throughout the night, even though Rosario started pulling out his jab later on and tried to go to work a little bit. But he was Rosario's a tough fighter. That's why the matchup was so intriguing. He's a very good fighter, tough guy to knock out. I know he's uh, moved up and weighed a little bit, but he's still tough. He's a big 140 still. I know a lot of people were saying that uh, Flores was a bigger fighter. Uh, probably as far as height, but they was around the same size. Shoot, uh, Rosario, big for that weight class. So I didn't, I didn't understand when they said that. But I thought it was a tough fight, though. I thought it was a really tough fight when... Um, Flores needed to turn him. He did when he got when he needed to get out of the corner. Um, when he need, needed to clinch and move out the way, he did. But after a while, Rosario didn't have any answers for just the boxing. As far as going to the body and throwing on the inside, yeah, he was able to do that. But when it went to another style of fighting, he couldn't he couldn't handle it. It was too much. And um, that's why the fight kind of got away from him. That's why he ended up losing. It was a very close fight. But it was at times where he tried to do certain things that Flores was doing. He couldn't keep up. Had to go back to fighting on the inside. The jab worked a couple times. Of course, he was landing. But it just wasn't as much as what uh, Flores was putting out. From the beginning, from the first round all the way to the end, he was putting out everything every round. And he wasn't slowing down. So I definitely wasn't surprised. It was a very good fight. I think a lot of things would be overlooked, but I think it was a very good fight, though. Definitely going to be a lot of things overlooked, but it was a good fight, though.